Delighted to be joined by TikTok superstar and Yorkshire-based farmer Joe Seals making a special guest appearance for us today, but also at the Great Yorkshire Show this week. Afternoon, Joe. Afternoon, and yeah, can I congratulate Jack as well on uh, on his marriage? I, I have met him before, he's a nice fella. I will pass on your warmest congratulations, my mate. Great to have you on BBC Radio T. It's first time that we've spoke. Uh, of course, the Great Yorkshire Show getting underway. Tell us what you're going to be doing there. I'm going to be doing sort of a meet and greet on a, a Virtual Motors uh, stand, which is not my normal day job of being a farmer, but uh, sort of with the TikTok and the YouTube, things have got a bit busy. Well, tell us about this. I mean, in fact, let's go right to the beginning. How did you, your career as a farmer start? Uh, so it's a family farm. I've always grown up on it and worked on the farm. But then I was lucky enough to get to university did university and I thought, you know what, when you go to university, you can't be a farmer afterwards. So <laughs> I got into doing um, uh, rental cars, if, if uh, of all the things. Yeah. And after a couple of years of that and, and doing quite well at it, to be honest, I just felt this is not for me. Like, <laughs> I do not want to be sat in an office. I want to be out there in the fields working with cattle and doing what I've loved from being a kid. And yeah, what I like to say about on the YouTube and stuff is we can get anybody into farming. Don't think that because you've been to university or something like that, that there's not a job for you in farming. There's jobs everywhere. It sounds a rewarding job, clearly hard, you know, hard working job. Yeah, it's so rewarding and so varied the work that you get in it. Yeah, I couldn't imagine doing anything else. And when it comes to social media, you know, and particularly TikTok, how did that begin then? Did you just decide to put it out there one day and then it's kind of blown up and it's taken from there? Yeah, pretty much. Um, so I've never done a video of myself or done any filmmaking or anything along those lines before. And uh, Andy, who works for us, great guy from uh, from all the way down in Devon, um, at one point was going to be moving back down to Devon. And I thought, oh, we're going to lose this really great member of staff. And how do I put it out there to people that it would be a great career to work on our farm? So yeah. it, was, it was just solely for like my own selfishness of getting somebody to work on the farm, basically, <laughs> that I started putting up videos about what we did here. Because I think sometimes the misconception is, especially like when I go down the pub or something and say that I'm a farmer, everyone's like, well, do you get up at <laughs> five o'clock in the morning? Well, no, we start at eight o'clock here. All right, well, are you shoveling, uh, you know what, every, every hour of the day? It's like, no, we've got, you know, quite large machines and we're using modern technology. The tractors steer themselves, uh, the cattle, we record everything in the computer system. It's like, I think the public's perception of what farming is and maybe where it is, yeah. It, yeah, is, um, yeah, something that needs to change. You need to yeah, show people. Uh, I'm, I'm finding that, you know, chatting to Jack at Mainsgill uh, on a weekly basis, you know, and when you just mentioned there, particularly about the technology. Now, these machines now, they can map out the field, you know, they can do all sorts and they can pretty much do it all, can't they? Yeah, yeah, really can. I mean, the, the, the sort of the technology there, sort of from your manufacturers like John Deere and New Holland, where they steer the tractors, really, really expensive kit to 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 work with. And with us not having a large acreage, I thought to myself, I want to do that, but on a budget. I've got a tractor that steers itself that I built out wow. of like Land Rover suspension <laughs> sensors and all sorts of little bits from China, but it works. It's brilliant. And, 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 and people are interested in that, so it goes up on the videos. I love that. What, what's your favourite part of, of, of your job? Uh, I think what I love the most is the variety. Yeah. So, you know, in springtime, we're planting spring barley, and then, you know, it moves on a little bit, and you're fed up drilling and planting crops, and then the next thing you change, you change your job role, and you're fertilising crops, and you're doing different things with the cattle that you were doing the month before. And there are some things that are the same. We're always feeding our cattle and bedding them down and, and looking after them, that's like stays stays the same all the way through the year. But yeah. the like little bits in between are always changing and, and you can see in the landscape, like I'm sat now at the minute in our barn looking at our 
winter barley that's golden. It's about a week off being ready to cut. Yeah. We'll be in with the combine harvester and um, yeah, that, that, that's that's a nice time of year. How do you overcome, Joe, particularly now, you know, you're a TikTok superstar. How do you overcome the stereotypes surrounding that, that farming industry that we've just been touching on there? You know, because, you know, farming shows pretty popular on the TV at the minute. Would you say it gives a, a true picture of, of what farming's about? Um, in the media, there seems to be two main camps of views on farming. It's either the artisan cheese, farm shop, selling to a high expense sort of thing. Yeah. And then there's the opposite side, which is that we're abusing the environment and our animals and, and things like that. And where our farm is, we're not selling artisan trees and we're not got a farm shop and we're not at that side of the, the argument. So I think people sometimes will put, oh, well, they must be the other. They must be the other. Well, I'm trying to show that like, no, we're looking after our animals here. Yeah. We're above and beyond. I do a video every day so people can see what we are doing with looking after our animals. What would you say as well, Joe? What would you say to other young people like yourself who maybe are thinking about getting into farming but don't know how? Um, I'd say there's lots of routes in. So there's a lot of local colleges, lots of places where you can get apprenticeships, universities are taking agricultural courses, there's loads of ways in. I'd just say, contact your local college and there will be farmers out there looking for apprentices, so. It's been brilliant having a chat with you, honestly, I've absolutely loved it. <laughs> and uh, Joe, continued success, not only of course down on the farm, but uh, certainly on social media as well. If anybody's interested in giving you a follow, where can they find you on social media? Um, so on, on YouTube and TikTok, it's at Joe Seals, uh, S-W-L-S. And you're at the Yorkshire Show tomorrow? Yes, yeah. So tomorrow, um, if you want to pop over to the Virtual Motors stand, I'm going to be on there um, probably around 12 o'clock, I think. 12, 1 o'clock, I think, is the timing. Well, listen, enjoy it, my mate. And hopefully we'll get to speak to you again at some point soon. But uh, thanks for taking the time, Joe, and have a great day. No worries. Thank you very much. <laughs>